Yeah. How long do you have? As long as you want to talk about it. Well, the first, so it was twice. The first time we shot it, yeah. outside, and what we had to do is, like, there's a video I think I put on Instagram or Twitter, and you, we had to jump into the water, and we were told that no matter what was happening, don't come out for air. <laughs> for, like, ten seconds, because they had a, a, a fire cannon that shot over the pool once we like went under. Do you guys want to see it? I have that on my phone. <laughs> it's like it's epic. I showed it to to, to somebody afterwards, and they're like uh, 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 freaked out. But what did the cannon do? Shot fire. Oh, like oh, okay. Like okay. actual like fire. I legit want to find the freak. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's honestly one of my proudest moments. I feel. I feel like I should earn my stunt woman license from it. Um, that was the first time we did it, and then we didn't have enough time because the sun went down to catch the underwater pool, like more of the underwater stuff. The second time we did it, we did an underwater pool interior, and we had these like sandbags under the water that the we would, the at the bottom of the pool, that we would go, like, take our, you know, deep, deep, different, like, breaths, and then we had, like, breathing... We, water, we had divers. We had so divers. Safe divers. We had divers. We had divers with like the air, the oxygen stuff. So we would like take our breath. We'd go down. They put like the oxygen thing in our mouth, and they'd latch our, our feet onto sandbags, okay. like in the deep end of the pool. Yeah, to keep us down. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then so at, when they they would like tap on the the canister so we hear it. And then, like, that's kind of like when we came alive and we had to, you know, have our eyes open and all that stuff. And then we basically just acted the scene out. And then, once we were done, I think they put the respirator back in our mouths. They, first of all, they didn't... <laughs> the whole thing. We were, we were, like, pushed for time the second time. They didn't want us to come up for air. So they just wanted to, like, keep putting the respirator back in our mouths. And we were like, wait a minute. We have to come up. Like, we have to know if we're doing the scene correctly, like, to get direction. I mean, you, your eyes are open underwater. You can't see anything. No. Like, by the end of it, like, I couldn't even, I sh should not have been driving home. Because everything was just, like, super blown out. Blurry. Yeah, I, I, was, like, I called her. I called her that night. And I was like, can you see right now? Because, <laughs> because I can. And, like, it was so fuzzy. Because we were in this highly chlorinated pool. Right. right. But whatever. Could have been worse. We could have been in the, you know, back. <laughs> well, it was, it, was, it was a beautiful scene, and I'm sure yeah. you've gotten a ton of feedback that everybody loved. I want to show this to you guys, because it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Is this the full one? That's the full one. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm wasting, maybe wasting your time here. No. But this is <laughs> worth it. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't okay. think we've won. So, you guys can see, we're, we're over here, and this is a little device that's going to shoot the flames across the water. So they're counting down. Just give it a second here. <laughs> oh, because of the house, ex because of the explosion. Yeah, because of the explosion. yeah, they, yeah. They threw real flames on top. That's why they were like, don't come up. Wow. <laughs> there you go. And the camera's, of course, underneath. All right, so that's you jumping in. Whoa. Whoa. Right. That is <laughs> so, so wow. we didn't know that's why we couldn't come up. <laughs> they didn't tell you. Well, we that? knew there was flames, but we didn't see that. You until didn't know it was going to be like a we didn't fireball cannon. Right. Yeah. 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 I actually, I sent this exact clip to Meredith, who was back in L.A., our, our creator, and she was like, Oh my god, <laughs> don't ever send something like that again. Because, you know, uh, she was, yeah, she's a little like, she's a worried mother. Well, at least you knew you were all well by that point yeah. and you lived through it. Yeah, I was missing all of my hair. But, uh, anyway. Good times. Good times. That was my question. And really being more, more, more vocal about it, but actually having sort of more, maybe more of a game plan, um, and maybe that's in the Red Hawks, and maybe that's rallying yeah, our school, yes. maybe that's you know, in the press room. and right. really spending more time in the sector and getting to know more about the agents. Mm -hmm. um, I think for this is less about Roman, more just about the show in general. As a fan, I would love to see something hugely epic happen, like. What if somehow the Atrians broke out and somehow took over the community? And basically, was, what if what if the humans were moved into the sector and they were holding the community hostage? And so I just think that'd be cool. I, it's not been mentioned, but I just, it would be so hugely epic. So it's sort of like a reverse. Yeah. See, so like yeah. flip the tables on them. Yeah. How cool would that be? You know? 